Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using some of the, this is basically a Sephora haul part two. Um, some of the products that I picked up during the sale, I have another one for next weekend and then that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Um, but yeah, so I did pick up a few things, some powder, some blush, some mascara, bronzer, concealer. <laughs> so if you wanted to see how I got this look and what these products look like on the skin, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done my foundation. I don't have anything new. That's why I didn't show it. I'm just using the Dior Forever Matte Foundation, and this is in the shade... Um, okay, it's not on here. That's weird. What the heck? I have the box. Zero W. Um, so what I'm going to do is try one of the first things that I bought. I actually used it under my eyes already. I'm wondering if it's a little too dark for the under eye, but whatever. It'll have to do for today. I am using the Huda, what is it called? Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Cupcake. So it does have a tiny bit of like a pinky undertone. I could not get my hands on that stupid cherry blossom, so I was like... This is close and that one might have been a little bit too pink so so what I do is just put a little bit in the lid and tap a bit off sometimes I blow a little bit off you don't have to do that um, <clears throat> it does definitely have a scent I think if you own Huda products you know that they are pretty heavy, heavily fragranced but I mean, that doesn't really bother me, but I think that might be a deal, deal breaker for some people, especially if you have allergies. So, I think I like it. I, I think where I notice the most difference during the day is definitely on my forehead, especially for keeping me matte. But it's almost like a soft kind of sheen, like it's not a flat, super flat matte. I can't really explain it. <laughs> But anyways, I still have to be pretty careful around here. I'm still a little bit swollen, which is really annoying. It's been about a month now. I've had enough. Um, but yeah. How's everybody doing with the sale? I... not good. <laughs> not good for me. I need it to end. Yeah, so I don't know if you could see, but it is just nicely kind of mattifying the forehead and I'm just going to take some off the side here I have two orders coming I don't know why I didn't place them together one is just one thing which is the Valentino concealer I wanted to try the Givenchy concealer but um, they didn't have any of the shades that I was looking for that one sold out pretty quick <coughs> Also with loose powder, try not to breathe it in, <laughs> if you can. That's what I like about pressed powder. You don't have to worry about it going everywhere. I was going to get the Givenchy one again, the Prisma Libre, the pink one. Even though I had tried it and it wasn't like that mind-blowing to me. I'm like, maybe I didn't give it a fair shot because people are obsessed with it. But... It sold out, so I was like, wasn't meant to be, whatever. But uh, yeah, so I have the Givenchy, no, sorry, the uh, Valentino concealer coming, the NARS, the Orgasm palette, what's it called? It's like brown and pink. What is it called? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind today. Got a lot on my mind. Um, and then I have the Ula Henriksen, the strength peptide, strength trainer peptide um, moisturizer. I just got a mini of that one just to try it out. And what else? Um, the St. Bart's, the Way St. Bart's um, scalp and body scrub. And... I don't know. 
I did, I'll show you what I got like this past week. This is new. This is the NARS concealer in the shade light two. This is vanilla, the soft matte complete concealer. And at first I was like, yeah, this might be a little bit too, just show you, I have a little bit of redness here. This might be a little bit too dark because I wanted to maybe try to use it on my underwear, on underwear, <laughs> my under eye, but I think it might be just a little bit too heavy for that. I think it's better just for like covering up little kind of areas that like right here. I don't know what's going on here. I have this little mark on my under eye and I don't know what the heck it's from. There was just like a tiny little scab under there, but I do think it does cover really nicely. I've heard some people use this as basically their foundation. They just use this and cover up any areas of redness and then just kind of go, which that would be very nice if I could do that. I was trying to find a nice skin tint for oily skin. It seems to be impossible. I did use this one yesterday. It's, it is a little bit glowy for my liking. It's still nice, but it did kind of enhance the pores a little bit. I'm just looking for something that's very light, smooth, doesn't make me super duper oily. I was thinking about the, the NARS skin tint, or sorry, tinted moisturizer. But then I read a lot of reviews saying, oh my God, if you're oily, don't use this. It's gonna make you super oily. And I'm like, well, I don't want that. So I did place an order for the Summer Fridays tinted moisturizer. And then I was watching Simply Dot Blair's live yesterday and a lot of people were saying, oh, that one has like zero coverage at all. I want just like the tiniest bit of coverage. Like I want a little bit of coverage. I don't want it to be basically nothing. So I canceled that order. Then I ended up doing an order for the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation because I'm running out. And then I canceled it again because I'm like, oh, do I need another foundation? I have to use the ones that I have. So I just need to be stopped. <laughs> this needs to end. I did get another bronzer. You know what you're thinking. I know. I have problems. I really wanted the Pat McGrath bronzer. Of course, it's still out of stock. Guaranteed when the sale's over, it'll be back in stock. But I do have, um, I think I have two $10 things that I can use, but... I'm just like, what the hell, man? Why? I really want a uh, Naked Desire, I think, which is the lightest shade. I know that Bronze Dawn is in stock, but I wanted either Naked Desire or Nude Honey, and Nude Honey is not even on the site, which is super annoying. Also, I just washed this, and now it's deformed. <laughs> what the hell? Um, so I, I'm trying this one. I'm still trying to decide how I feel about it. This is light level two. And, okay, as you can see, it's powdery. Whoa, maybe it's just this brush. I never got that much kick up with my other brush, but holy moly. I think I need to switch to my other bronzer brush. Really probably should have waited till this is fully dry before I put it away. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. I'm just like unsure on this color. Like, uh, what do we think? Is it too golden? It does say that it's golden online, but maybe I was hoping it would be a little more neutral. It's so powdery though. Oh my gosh. I don't remember having this much kick up when I used it the last couple times. Also, like, part of me is scared to buy powder products or any products for that matter from like clean brands because I'm just worried that I'm not going to get to it. If you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of makeup and you have like a very small collection and you basically use the same products every single day then I think that's totally fine. I think you'd probably be able to get lots of use out of it and use it before it goes bad but the shelf life on these clean products are just not long enough for me. So that's what it's looking like. It is nice. It's definitely very like smooth on the skin. It does have a tiny bit of a sheen to it, but like not bronzy or sorry, 
of course it's bronzy not like super glowy <sighs> so i'm still deciding i'm not sure i do want that stupid pat mcgrath one though <laughs> just because everyone's like oh my god that's so good I really need to stop listening to other people this is exactly why i placed a lot of orders Okay, and then, so I did end up buying the Lawless, it's like a newer, like, plumping lip balm type thing, and they're tinted, but the one I got was the lightest one, I didn't realize it said clear translucent pink, but if it's pink, then it's not clear. But it is clear. I bought it hoping that it would be... That it, if you look online, there's like a little baby tint of pink on the people's lips. No, on mine, literally no tint at all. Just nothing. Just lip balm. So I brought it back. And what else did I have? Oh, the Patrick Ta. It was like the coppery kind of rosy gold eyeliner. And I tried it and it made me look ill. So I'm like, okay, this needs to go back too. So yeah, both those went back. And instead, you know, instead of just getting my money back, like I should have done, I'm like, well, I might as well try the Dream Pop by Charlotte Tilbury. I saw Erin Nicole TV using this and it looked so pretty on her. I was like, okay. And I've kind of been into like reddish blush shades because I find that they do look more like a natural type flush like when I use warm berry from Gucci I just love the way that looks it looks more like a natural type flush even though you look at it and you're like okay that looks frightening okay I think I'll stop there <laughs> And I will just go in with a, if I can find a powder brush, yes, powder blush, brush, and just blend it a little bit. I might add more. Sometimes I go back and I'm like, oh, I look too pale. And then I add more bronzer at the very end. Also, this is driving me nuts. If you've ever bought this from Missouri, how the hell do you get it to stay on your ear? Because literally, if I put it right here like oh, oh starts falling down all the way down to here and i'm like no i just want you to be right there it's too heavy it's too heavy but yeah i don't know i don't know about this bronzer what do we think i like the way that it looks once it's like all blended but i think i just wanted something more neutral which is my fault so let's try this guy i don't know what brush I want to use for this I think I normally would go in with something like this maybe I'll do this this has a little pink on it right now from my uh, one size blush but that's fine this is the elf putty blush bronzer and I just find this the easiest I, I tried it like the tiniest bit I'm like I don't want it to come spilling out of here a reminder to turn it on and off when you're done and I am gonna put it on my hand first because I'm afraid <laughs> like I said I tried it and it was good but I just feel like with these especially these types of colors you just gotta be very careful and with these I find I have to just kind of work quick so even though it looks like a red it actually looks more pink once you put it on. Oh, you know what's happening? It's mixing in with the pink. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna go in with this MAC. This is a MAC. Oh my god, I can't even read it. It's a duo fiber brush. But this did happen on Erin uh, Nicole TV too. It does look a little more pink, but I think for me it mixed in with my 
the pink that was already on the brush, which I thought of, should have thought of first. But anyway. Okay, so we'll go in on this cheek without that pink to see what it really shows up as. And like I said, I like to work kind of quick with these because I never know how fast they're going to dry. And I like that it's not adding too much product at a time because it has that there's like a separation, obviously, in between the brush, the bristles. I hope I'm making sense. Sometimes in my head, I'm like, what the hell was I talking about? After I rewatch a video. <laughs> I just mean it's not super dense. I don't know. Do I like this? It looked so good on her. Why is it looking so bright right now? Like, frighteningly bright. Oh god, why did I do that? Okay, well, <laughs> you're seeing what not to do here. Oh my god. I'm getting patchy, and I don't like that. <laughs> and I use a lot of liquid blushes, so I don't think it's me. I have heard this one does tend to get patchy. Oh my god, I look like a clown. <laughs> oh my god. Oh... Can we salvage this? I don't know. <sighs> so this is happening right now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, and I just got it all over my carpet. Like why is this my life? Every time I'm filming. Every frickin' time. Well, that's never gonna come out. Cool. Love it. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm frightened. I don't really know where to go from here because this has never really happened where it's been so... I tried to, like, add a little to my nose to be like, it's sunburn. But, I don't know guys, I don't know. Just might have to go back. Oh, it looks so good on Erin Nicole and she just like kept adding more and it was like, oh, maybe cause she's more tan than I am. That would make sense. Okay, let's just pretend this isn't happening. We'll see how it looks once I actually get like my eye look on. But I did buy this too which is the Luminous Silk, the Armani Luminous Silk blush in the shade. This is not the one. This is not the one. I have the shade Amore. Amore. I think I screwed up and it's actually Amore. Um, I bought the shade. Where the heck is it? Why do I keep losing everything? Um... The shade Intimate, number 10. And I probably should have used this today. Which is really pretty. It's like a pinky peach. I generally don't love peach, but this one kind of pulls a little more like nudie pink on me. So I'll use this next weekend when I do the, um, the video with the NARS eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go and do my eyes. I do have a little eyeshadow that I got and another one of these pencils, the Sephora Colorful Shadow and Liner Pencils. This is matte and it's waterproof and the color is Secret Boudoir. Online it looks gold, it's, it's a matte beige, not gold. So that's what it looks like. I like just putting it in the waterline 
and make sure to really like push the caps on tight because I've heard these dry out pretty quickly but they are super creamy and nice when you first buy them so um this is the shade first light and this is the colorful metal effect sephora collection eyeshadow so that's what it looks like i'll show you on my hand i'll show you on my finger first it's very like twinkly sparkle which i like so i think i'll do my eyes i don't know which shadow i'm going to use yet and then we'll like return back <laughs> and see if we can, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on because I find highlight always calms down this area. It kind of just like blends it into the skin. So we'll do the highlight first and then we will try to rectify the situation if need be. And listen, usually I'm into like pretty bright colors, but this one just whew, took me a little by surprise. Okay. <sighs> this one just looks, whew. this one looks super patchy and I don't know why. Okay. So I'll do my eyes, then I will add that shadow on once I'm done, and we'll see where we're at, and we'll see how this blush is looking. Okay, so now that I have my eyes on, I think it doesn't look as bad. It's still a little whew, for me, but we'll just continue on, we'll finish, and then we'll see. Because I have more of a matte look on, I don't really want to, I don't want to put this on. I wanted to use it, but now I'm like, oh, I kind of like what I have going on. So maybe I'll just tap it like in the corner of my eye. A nice little sparkle moment there. And I think that's okay. My brows aren't done yet, in case you're wondering. I just have the Makeup by Mario. Um, this guy. The Makeup by Mario Master Hold Brow Gel. That's just clear. So I did, we'll actually use this first. I also bought these, which like I can't really use, well, I, I could have used this, but I used this before I did my makeup. Um, this is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It's smoothing, says smoothing glowing complexion. So it is supposed to help tighten the look of the pores. I mean, I haven't noticed anything. I just like the way it feels and I like the way it smells. I should have got a big one though, because like look how much I've used already. I feel like I'm going to go through that one super quick. I did also purchase this. This is just a mini, the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. So that one, it says unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores. You can tell I have a theme going on here. Uh, smooths and even skin tone. So I did hear Simply Blair say that this helped with, I get little teeny tiny bumps on my forehead and she said she gets that too and this has like completely helped it. And actually, I have noticed a huge difference already. Um, I haven't noticed so much texture on my forehead. So keep trying that. I just wanted to buy a mini because I wasn't sure. If I didn't like it, I didn't want to buy the full size. I bought this. This is just a little scrubber brush for the shower. I did use it, but I dried it and cleaned it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I really like this because I always have an issue with not getting like residue out of my hair I find if I'm like I, I probably should get a clarifying shampoo is probably the main issue but I find that I can't really get in there as much as I want to so I'll like scrub up my hair but I won't really get as close to my scalp like sometimes I'll find there's still residue like right here and that's like my biggest issue so this has been really nice. I used this a couple times. I've only washed my hair like a couple times since I got this, so I really like it so far. So we're gonna use this one. So I went in with the Smoky Quartz palette by Tom Ford, and I just used whiskey on the lash line and then mixed a little shadow in with it. And then Victoria Beckham Cocoa in the waterline. So I'll put some in the lower waterline and see what we think. So it definitely, ooh, 
Do I like that? I don't know if I like that. I usually like, if I'm doing a smoky eye, I'll do like dark waterline all around. But I kind of don't, I don't mind it actually. So I should put that on this side. But I feel like this would also be really nice for um, if you just wanted to kind of like use this as a primer all over the lid and just kind of get rid of any discoloration on the lids. So that's what that's looking like so far. I did curl the lashes already, but I might go in one more time. Again, this thing is making me crazy, but you know. <laughs> it keeps falling. Arr. Stay. Stay there. I don't know how to tighten it. Like if I could tighten it, it would just make a world of difference. I think I need a heated lash curler. See everybody like using a um, a lighter on their lash curlers and I'm like, I've done it before, but it kind of scares me. So <laughs> just don't do it anymore. I did pick this up. This is the Sephora Size Up mascara. Looks like this. This is the wand. This is usually the kind of wand that I'm into, but Still deciding on this one, so I will, as usual, have my CoverGirl exhibitionist on standby. <laughs> I don't know why I even buy mascaras, honestly. I just go back to that one all the time, but we'll see. So it is, uh, it says volume, extra large, immediate, supersized volume. I don't know that I even saw that much volume, but we'll see. I'll show you guys. Hopefully I don't get it all over my lid because I'm doing it far away. <laughs> but uh, also, how the heck did I forget? I think I was talking about my tooth so much that I forgot to talk about the Scandaval. <laughs> what the hell is going on in Vanderpump land? Like, whoa. You know what annoys me, though? Everyone's like... Like, I agree what they did is absolutely disgusting, especially since I think Rachel, which is her actual name, was staying in their house. Like, that is sickening. Especially because Ariana was nice enough to let her stay there. Like, what the hell? Um, and he, like, if you go back, they showed a clip of him, like, pinching her butt in front of Ariana. Like, what? what and why is she talking about dating tom schwartz she's like oh well if he paid attention to me then i would have dated him it's like what is that all it takes meanwhile she was already hooking up with tom sandoval at the time like what is even happening okay so i'm getting a little bit of not necessarily clumpiness, but I just need a little bit more separation. So I am going to go in with my exhibitionist. It's not bad. I mean, like, it does give, like, a decent amount of volume. But I think I just, I don't know, there's something about this brush, but holy crap. I think the stopper is not working properly or something's going on because something's up with this one. Like, it, there's too much product on the brush. But anyway, yeah, so also, how does Lala even have anything to say about this? <laughs> She's like, oh my god, how could you do that? It's like, you slept with her fiancé. How do you have anything to say? You slept with her fiancé. She's like, oh, I wouldn't trust you around my man. It's like, well, she shouldn't have trusted you around hers. Anyway, I don't agree with, like, sending them death threats and stuff, though. Like, calm down. I don't know how much of this is actually even real. I mean, I know they were actually in a relationship, but... Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. Like, it's just so much drama. I mean, it's obviously entertaining, but, like, it's kind of sad to say that because that's Ariana's actual life, you know? Like, I don't know. It's a crazy situation all around 
Obviously, I feel bad for her, but like, damn, she's blowing up now. Everybody wants her for everything. She's like modeling. She's just like in a Lifetime movie or something. And yeah, I mean, good for her. Got her sandwich shop opening. I don't know if it's open already, but good for her. Gotta say, I've been cheated on before and it is not a good feeling. I obviously wasn't with the person, with him for as long as they were together, but I wonder like if she kind of had a feeling because when it happened to me, I don't know, there was just like, I never trusted him, like ever. And I didn't know why. I was like, okay, maybe the, of course I got it on my lid, but I was like, maybe it's because this is my first kind of more serious relationship. Maybe I'm just a jealous person and, you know, I need to calm down. But this is what would happen. If this happens to you, get out. <laughs> um, basically, he would go out with his friends, his single friends, okay? Like almost all of his friends were single. Would go out with his single friends and um, would be out until like at least three and the bar would close at two. So I'd be like, where are you going after the bar? Like, and I get it. Sometimes you go out to eat because you're starving because that was always me. Like I'd go to like, I don't know, there's like, some like kind of dive restaurants near these bars that are open that were open super late but then like he wouldn't answer his phone and listen i wasn't calling all night or anything I would like let him do his thing with his guys i would sometimes text but you know i wouldn't be crazy about it but if he'd like hang up on me while he was out with his guys like no this is when I was, I think, 25. There was just bad vibes all around. He ended up getting a job working for a beer company. And we all know that when you do that, it comes with, you know, okay, so this is where I was jealous. I knew, like, he'd be going to a lot of events. There would be, like, beer tub girls and blah, blah, blah. And so maybe that part was on me. But... This one night, he did not sleep at my place. He said he was working. And then he was living at home at this time, which is funny because this is how he got caught. His mom called me and was like, hey, is, let's just call him Brad. You know who you are, Brad. Okay. And she's like, hey, did brad come to your place last night because he didn't come home and i'm like and i whoop. where you at brad then i call him immediately because i'm like okay that's cool he had just gotten this job okay and it was just bad from the beginning <laughs> like I was trying so hard to be supportive, but I just knew like that was the end for us because he was already just doing weird shady shit, poop, sorry, and I just like, I just had a bad feeling. I'm like, okay, he would like, I remember one time he was supposed to, um, he was going to his friend's place and his friend kind of lived not out of town but like far and he's like oh we're just gonna stay here for the night and I'm like okay so I he knew I was going to the bar I was going out with my girlfriends I don't think he knew which bar I was at I called him and he told me he was at his friend's place and then all of a sudden who shows up at the same bar that I was at I don't even think he knew where I was so I was like oh how's your friend's place you're at the bar now. That's funny how that happened. It was just a shit show. <laughs> anyway, 
So the the day that I actually like found out about what was going on, he he was like, oh, I got you know I I was drinking with my boss. My boss told me that I could sleep at his place because he didn't want me driving. And it's like, ever heard of a cab? Just just ever heard of it? And yeah, so basically that's how I found out that he was cheating because he was lying and he was not a good liar. He thought he was good, but he ain't slick. And yeah, basically the best thing that ever happened was I think he, it was like right, be this turned into a crazy story time, sorry. It was like right before my birthday, we ended up breaking up and there was really no reason for the breakup. I, this cheating thing happened before, he denied it, denied it, denied it. So I'm finally like, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. But I did not believe him, I knew he was cheating. But I had no proof or anything. So, but also he took his phone everywhere with him. So if guys are doing that and they don't like even want you near their phone or they're like, Ugh, it's like, okay, <laughs> that's a problem. But anyway, um, yeah, where was I going with this? <laughs> oh yeah, we broke up. Then he was on a trip to Calgary, I think. And then he like called me on my birthday and was like, hey babe, blah, blah. It's like, we're broken up. Don't call me that. Obviously I wasn't over it. And this is basically like literally right after we broke up. He had just gotten back from Calgary. And my friend from work, I was working at Mac at the time. My friend was like, hey, um, are you still with Brad? And I'm like, why? <laughs> She's like, oh, well. I'm just curious because I saw him with some girl at Earl's and he had his arm around her and I'm like, hmm, okay. Literally, this is like a week after we broke up. Like, there's no way you're just like all of a sudden dating somebody already or like just met her that night or whatever. So I call him out on it. I'm like, listen, I know we're not together, but like, obviously... He had something going on before we were done. I was like, no, I didn't. That was my boss's wife, blah, blah. I just had my arm around her, blah. I'm like, okay, <laughs> come on, come on. Again, I loved him. I was like, okay, even though it's like I knew in my heart, I knew, I knew he cheated, I knew. But I'm like, okay. Didn't believe him. Wanted to believe him. Didn't believe him. So then we all go out. I'm like super sad that day, obviously, because I know like it's it's done done. Like we ain't getting back. He's a POS. <clears throat> so we uh go out for this Mac event like all of us just decided we had an event that day and we're like oh let's go out for drinks after and they knew I was like pretty sad because obviously we just broke up and then my friend goes oh my god that girl at the table over there is the girl that he had his arm around like she's like it wasn't just arm around it was like had his arm around her waist like butt and I'm like okay I'm like this sounds psycho, okay? But, like, if it were you, what would you do? Like, I'm gonna ask what's up. So I went up to the girl, and I'm like, hey, how's it going? She's like, hey, like, kind of like, who the hell are you? And I'm like, I'm just curious. Do you know Brad? Let's call him Johnson. Do you know Brad Johnson? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, how do you know each other? She's like, oh, we've been dating, or we're dating. And I said, okay, how long have you been dating? And she's like, oh, like a few weeks, like three weeks-ish. And I'm like, oh, okay, because we're on a break, as he liked to call it. He didn't, it wasn't a breakup. It was a break, Ross, okay? Ross. And 
but I considered it like I did consider it a breakup because I was like come on a break like get out of here this is the give pencil in do whatever and I'm like okay yeah um well we're together and not together anymore but I said like we literally just broke up like a week ago so there was some overlap there all right he likes to say I'll never forget the time I ran into him at a bar and like I was just trying to be nice so I talked to him and he was like you know like what, it, the relationship was good and like you know there's no cheating like you know we ended on good terms I'm like what relationship were you in I'm like I think you're thinking of somebody else because girl there was cheating and it wasn't it wasn't on me it wasn't on my part that's for sure so yeah her and I chatted and like she was crying and I was kind of like what are you crying about I was with him for way longer but I was being nice to her. I wasn't being mean because, like, at the end of the day, she wasn't the one in a relationship. He was. And, yeah, I'll just, like, never forget all these lies he used to tell. He'd be like, ah, I'd be like, oh, where were you? Like, what took you so long? He'd be like, because if he said he was going to the gym or something, he'd be like, okay, like, you know, it takes like an hour, two hours. And he'd be like, you'll never guess what happened at the gym. Somebody got stuck in the pool and then they had to lift the floor and then this is a blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, really? That's weird because they have workers there. He's like, oh, and I helped and I had to do this. And I was like, Okay, Superman, like, calm down. <laughs> like, ew. I don't know. Guys, if you have a bad feeling about your boyfriend or husband or whoever, like, uh, just trust your instincts because I don't know. There's so many liars. Gucci! I wish I could find another lipstick, like a nice cool tone lipstick. If you have any ideas, let me know. I am going to go over this because this might be like a little bit too cool. Just with my Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in the number 32. This is still the old one. I haven't used the backup yet because I still have this one. But yeah, sorry that turned into like a crazy cheating story time again this is like nothing compared to Tom and Ariana Ariana I don't know how to say it because they were together for nine years and this is like all public like I can't even imagine but hopefully she finds a nice girl or guy and yeah so okay I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back okay so this is the completed look I think we were like sort of able to salvage this blush I kind of just went in with a sponge and just kind of like went around it I think this side is a little too much but like this one I mean it's still a lot <laughs> maybe I'll just use less next time I mean I kind of went like pfft on my hand but people just go right on their face and I'm like how so I'll just do a quick run through of the products that I picked up this I love um this is the Armani blush in the shade 10 which is intimate like I said I'll be using this next weekend because I mean I only have one face and I didn't want to use both because they just don't really go together so yes um, the only thing, I did mention this in my last video, this blush is 3.6 grams. Just as a comparison, the House Labs blush, 11 grams. So, 
Like I did say, you are paying a lot for the name, but I have to say this blush, I feel is very like blurring. I don't have that one with the sparkle in it, which I believe is called Ecstasy. Sorry, don't quote me on that, but um, this one is more matte and Amore is, Amore? I don't know, Amore is also more matte. So like they do have a nice little kind of sheen to them, but I don't know. It just has like definitely a smoothing quality to them. Um, this is supposed to be a matte blush and I would say it does have a glow to it for sure. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep trying to work with it. I mean, today was just like a bad example, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep trying it out. Hopefully get it out of my carpet. <laughs> Couldn't have picked a worse color. Um, but yeah, like I said, make sure it's off. I just wanted to make sure it was off. Um, I'm going to keep this. I think it'll be okay for the summertime. I think it'll look better on me once I have a little bit more color. Although, I never really seem to tan very much in the summer. Last year I had a bit of a tan and I was like, holy crap, what happened? Okay, so this, I do like... Have to keep working with it though once i have a full face on i do think it looks better for sure but when i first put it on i was like oh my gosh uh the bronzer i don't know i don't know do we like it can you tell me if you like it um it might look a little dark because i'm pretty fair right now but i always have a darker face than body because i don't know it's just what i do yeah, so this is light level two. I think I'm going to keep it. I do like the way that it looks on my forehead. It's definitely very smoothing. And yeah, I just think it's pretty. Oh my god, this earring again. Just don't bother with this thing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep that. I'm definitely keeping the blush. Um, the powder, the Huda powder, I do think is very nice. Did I need it? Not really, because I still have this which I really like, and I'm still using the NARS powder. I would say it's very comparable to the NARS one. Like, I don't know, it has like a decent amount of smoothing to it, but I think honestly, when you have larger pores, like there's only so much a powder can do to smooth your skin and like blur the skin. But I do think this is nice. I feel like it'll last a long time. And just if you don't like fragrance, I don't think you will like this. It's not the, it's not new. I mean, that's like an old powder that's been around for a while. Um, this I do think is very pretty. If you can kind of see it in the corners, I'll try to wear it again in a different video, like actually on the lid. But yeah, I just wasn't feeling it today. Um, uh, what else? This I love. Very helpful to really just get right in there. And this too. I also really, really like the BHA. So far, so good. Um, the mascara, I actually like it better today. I think this is one that maybe you need to get like a little more use out of to figure out if you really like it or not. Um, these pencils, the colorful Sephora pencils, I am really enjoying so far. So I did have the shade Cafe Ole, which it looks the same, but it's different. Cafe Ole I tried last week and then this week you can see they're different. This week is the shade beige. Nope, secret boudoir. Not even close. And then the NARS concealer. I'm really liking this so far just for kind of spot concealing. I want to try it like other people have tried it where they just use that as kind of their like foundation basically just go in any areas that I have redness or darkness and then just kind of go in with like a bronzer and see because like I said I cannot find a good skin tint if you can recommend anything please let me know a skin tint for a combination oily skin so let me know I think that is everything so I will be back hopefully next weekend with another video and yeah thank you so much for watching and I love ya Bye.